Welcome to the rocket profile of the Dnieper rocket, the silo-launched ICBM-turned-orbital rocket. A set of explosives pushes the Dnieper rocket out of its silo, after which its first stage ignites. That first stage is an RD-264 unit, which is four RD-263 engines burning UDMH and nitrogen tetroxide to provide a total of 4,522 kilonewtons of thrust in vacuum, with a specific impulse of 318 seconds for a total burn time of 2 minutes and 10 seconds. With a launch mass of 211 tons, it can only loft 3.2 tons to orbit, a fairly low payload ratio primarily due to the fact that the rocket is a repurposed R63 MUTTKH ICBM and it was designed to be hardened and launched reliably after sitting in the silo for years. The second stage burns the same propellants as the first and is an RD0255 unit combining an RD0256 engine with an RD0257, which is a set of four vernier thrusters. The verniers sit in special slots which allow them to pre-ignite while the first stage is still burning, while the main engine only ignites after the first stage separates. The RD0255 unit has 755 kilonewtons of thrust in vacuum and an ISP of 340 seconds and a burn time of 3 minutes and 10 seconds. After the second stage is complete, it separates into third stage coasts for a time. The third stage, known as the PBV, also uses UDMH and N204, but essentially consists solely of four RD869 vernier thrusters, providing a toll of 20.2 kilonewtons and a vacuum ISP of 313 seconds. The burn time for the stage is 4 minutes and 50 seconds, though there is a lower thrust version that burns for more than 10 minutes. The four verniers flip out from the body when activated and are initially facing backwards, retrograde, as they were originally used to slow down the re-entry of warheads and precisely manage targeting. For orbital flight, the stage has to turn around, and only after doing so does it release the fairings. The Dnieper first flew as an orbital rocket in 1999 and has since had 21 successful orbital launches and only one failure for a success rate of 95.5%. It has primarily been used for commercial and scientific launches, boosting payloads from a wide range of countries. It launched Genesis 1 and 2, experimental inflatable habitats from Bigelow Aerospace that were precursors to the module now on the International Space Station. With that, thank you for watching this rocket profile of the Dnieper rocket.